Game here this afternoon, it looks like a game of two halves in some respects, uh, a victory at half time of course and then Wolves came out a little bit stronger second and a half. Yeah it wasn't, um, it's not ideal to wrap up your, your home um, pre-season games with a, with a defeat. We, I didn't think we started well at all to be honest with you, I thought for the first 20 minutes we looked very lethargic, um, we got the goal which came out of the blue I think to be honest with you, I think that was our probably first attack, uh, good goal. But um, no, the, the overall play today was was off. You know, we just we simply just played back to front as quick as we could. Um, Callum Ball had a graveyard shift for 70 minutes that he was on the pitch, and I think we need to have a little bit more about us. We've got some good players in this team, and a little bit more about us to get on the ball and actually play the ball around like we have done in pre-season and I keep getting these compliments from the fans to say you've got them set up, they look organised, they look solid but they're also playing football. They made it easy for themselves today. I think the boys were happy just to camp out in front of their goal with a back five, a midfield four and one up front and it, we, just, we just didn't get going. Is that the fault of your players or is that the way that Wolverhampton came to play their game today? Of course they had a different manager involved today because of the the, 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 what happened at Wolves this morning but uh, are you blaming your players or is it because, or is it half way that the, the Wolves set, them, set up their play? A bit of both but to be honest with you I think um, tactics and, and systems they're overrated they really are I think when you've when you've got a group of people that believe in believe in themselves so much you'll get on the ball and you play football it's, it's, it's playground stuff you know people want to get on the ball and express themselves I didn't have anybody today that was willing to get on the ball and, and really express themselves. I think Femi did, um, probably for 25, 30 minutes. Obviously he gets injured, which is a bit of a concern, but we needed I needed more willing people today to, to get on the ball. Probably like Jordan Crawford did probably for the last half an hour. I thought he was, I thought he was brilliant again. Um, but two or three, I think, shirked it a little bit today. You did have two players missing, of course. Ben Milne's out, uh, and of course uh, Cleveland wasn't here, he wasn't available. They'll bolster the midfield. Is the midfield light without them? It is. You know, I think um, obviously Webby's just getting his, his fitness. He probably needed he probably needed 90 today. Obviously, he gets the, it's a knock on his foot. It's actually a really bad tackle on him. Obviously, we saw it from the stand. Um, and Danny tweaked his groin uh, last Sunday against Leeds. So it was a pretty patched up midfield. I think you do miss when you haven't got the players. Like Cleveland Taylor and Ben Mills, I think it's it really stands out. You know that energy and work rate. I think it, I think it was a big miss for us today. And you, as you mentioned, you watched the game from the stand. You had other people on the bench watching it this side of the pitch. How was that for you? Any benefit in that? Yeah, I think it's um, whether or not it would have made a difference if I was on the sideline. That's you know, yeah. I'll never know that. It's 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 what ifs. Um, that's my new academy coaching lineup, so I wanted them to have that bench side experience today while I could go and have a little look from the stand. I've been happy from the MK Dons game, Newcastle and Leeds for what I've seen and I thought we, we've, we've looked a good side. I want to sit in the stand and that was probably our worst performance of pre-season in total, so I thought I'd got it right and the lads have got to go back to the drawing board a little bit now. And of course you can do that Tuesday night, you're playing away at Daventry and no game next week. I'm guessing it's Saturday, it's going to be a full-on training day. It will, you know, that's that, that was the plan. We get Daventry, obviously on Tuesday night. I want, I want to finish the, the schedule and win away, as I said that last week. So we go to Daventry, we try and get a result. Um, and then the boys will train Thursday, Saturday, next Tuesday, next Thursday. And we are gearing up, ready for the start of the season. So it's just the final preps now. There's not much you can say to that. Obviously, it is the preparation. This is pre-season. That's what it's about, to organise your team ready for the Matlock game. What do you know of the new season going forward? Lots of new teams. Are you getting out to other uh, pre-season friendlies? I think it's um, it's early days. I'm actually I'm not going to tell you where I'm going on Saturday, but I'm, I am venturing out to go and watch a game. Um, but we'll see. I think I think you, you can get you can get too hyped up in who's doing what and who's doing this. But the reality is the league table doesn't take shape probably to ten games in. Teams are still finding their feet. I'm sure we'll be one that finding our feet. So we just need to concentrate on ourselves. And obviously on the back of today, I want the boys to concentrate on themselves because that wasn't the team that I've seen over the last probably two or three weeks. So it was it needed a big reaction from that now. Tommy, thanks very much. Thanks, Joe.